a star, more than three times the size of our sun, or to end its life. A singularity. A space-time singularity. So the universe born from a black hole exploding. In the final moments of his remarkable life, Stephen Hawking, the brilliant mind behind the mysteries of the cosmos, stunned the world when he broke his long-held silence. With a voice weakened by time and technology, he revealed the most astonishing and puzzling secrets that had haunted his thoughts for decades. As the world listened in awe, Hawking's words unravel led a web of astonishing revelations, shattering our understanding of the universe and its untold truths. What did this iconic physicist unveil in his last breaths, and how will his revelations reshape the way we perceive reality? What other mind-bending puzzles are still concealed in the infinite depths of the cosmos, waiting for future generations to decipher? So join us as we uncover how Stephen Hawking broke the silence before his death and revealed some of the most terrifying secrets ever known to mankind. Stephen Hawking, a beacon of intellect and resilience. In the heart of the mid-20th century, a luminary emerged from the obscurity of rural England, destined to become a beacon of intellect and resilience in an often baffling world. This was none other than the remarkable Stephen Hawking. From the very outset, his journey was marked by extraordinary achievements that showcased his genius, propelling him into the hallowed halls of Oxford and Cambridge. There, he delved deep into the complexities of cosmology, an eager seeker poised to unlock the secrets of the universe. However, life had a cruel twist in store for Hawking. At the tender age of 21, he was diagnosed with a rare form of motor neurone disease, a prognosis so grim that it gave him a mere two years to live. But Hawking was not one to bow down to the dictates of fate. He defied the odds, not merely surviving, but thriving, turning his physical entrapment into a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Despite being confined to a wheelchair and robbed of his ability to speak, Hawking's mind soared to unparalleled heights. He delved even deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, fearlessly exploring the enigmatic realms of black holes and the origins of the universe. His groundbreaking theories transformed our understanding of reality, earning him recognition as one of the greatest scientific minds of our time. Yet, Hawking's work was not solely for the pursuit of academic accolades. He was driven by a burning desire to understand the profound implications of our existence. Hawking firmly believed that by deciphering the cosmos, we could gain a better understanding of our place within it and what it means to be human. His dedication to this quest was unwavering, his thirst for knowledge insatiable. But the deeper he delved, the more he realized that the universe was not just a place of wonder and awe. It also held secrets, secrets so profound and terrifying that they would challenge everything we thought we knew. In his pursuit of knowledge, Hawking broke down the barriers that confined his body. His mind, unshackled, roamed the infinite expanse of the cosmos. He once said, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Despite his physical limitations, he made us all look up at the stars, inspiring us to dream beyond our constraints. Hawking's indomitable spirit not only reshaped our understanding of the universe, but also became an enduring symbol of human resilience. His life story serves as a testament to the capacity of the human spirit to transcend its limitations, an inspiration for those who face adversity and are told that their dreams are impossible. Hawking's journey was a beacon of hope for the countless individuals grappling with physical or intellectual challenges. He showed us that the human potential knows no bounds when we nurture our curiosity, determination, and resilience. He pondered the grand questions of existence, challenging us to contemplate the very essence of our being. In his book, A Brief History of Time, he sought to make the complex accessible, unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos in a way that resonated with both scientists and the layperson. Hawking's quest was not just an academic pursuit, it was a search for meaning in the face of a vast and incomprehensible universe. He turned adversity into an opportunity for profound exploration, reminding us that our limitations need not define us. He demonstrated that the human spirit could conquer even the most formidable obstacles. Hawking's work and his story have left an indelible mark on the world. 
His legacy endures, inspiring future generations to look beyond their circumstances and seek knowledge, understanding, and a greater connection with the universe. As we reflect on the life of this incredible mind, we are reminded that the universe is not just a cold, vast expanse of matter and energy. It is a place of wonder, a repository of knowledge, and a canvas upon which the human spirit can paint its dreams. In the end, Stephen Hawking's journey, from the quaint English countryside to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, was a testament to the power of intellect and resilience. He dared to ask the big questions, and in doing so, he became a symbol of hope for all of humanity. His story teaches us that no matter how baffling the world may seem, there is always a path to enlightenment, discovery, and understanding. Race Against Time in a gripping video presentation, Stephen Hawking delivered a message that shook the very foundation of our understanding of the universe and the future of humanity. He didn't just present an abstract vision, he painted a stark and compelling picture of a race against time. Hawking narrowed down the timeline to less than six centuries, adding an intriguing layer to the narrative. It was a race against time, a desperate quest for our species to find a new abode amidst the stars. Hawking's call for humanity to venture into the cosmos wasn't merely a fanciful notion. It was rooted in the pressing reality of our planet's limitations. He outlined a well-defined time frame for his ambitious discovery, a pace at which he envisioned progress. His grand vision included the establishment of a global lunar colony within the next 30 years, followed by the development of a Mars colony in the subsequent decades. His words echoed in the Trondheim Festival livestream. The human race has existed as a separate species for about two million years. Civilization began about 10,000 years ago, and the rate of development has been steadily increasing. If humanity is to continue for another million years, our future lies in boldly going where no one else has gone before. Hawking's urgency stemmed from a deep concern for Earth's deteriorating conditions. Sea levels were rising rapidly due to climate change, and if emissions weren't curtailed, a significant portion of our land might be submerged. He warned that with more people on the planet, the situation could spiral into catastrophe. Hawking firmly believed that within a few centuries, Earth might no longer be a safe place for humans to inhabit. He foresaw a day when we might have to bid farewell to our home planet, a doomsday of sorts, and his concerns were far from baseless. We must find a new abode beyond Earth's boundaries. But the question remains, could Mars be our next home? Hawking's vision and the subsequent actions of space agencies and tech pioneers all converge on the captivating possibility of settling on Mars. The challenges are immense, but so are the potential rewards. To truly understand the allure of Mars as our next home, we must delve into the scientific, practical, and existential aspects of this audacious mission. Mars has always captivated the human imagination. Its rusty surface, the presence of water ice, and its proximity to Earth make it a prime candidate for colonization. Understanding the geological history of Mars could provide insights into Earth's past. Mars, unlike our planet, has preserved its ancient landscapes with minimal erosion. The search for life on Mars is another intriguing aspect. While we haven't found conclusive evidence of past or present life on the planet, the possibility remains captivating. The discovery of even microbial life on Mars would revolutionize our understanding of the potential for life beyond Earth. It could answer the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe or if life is a cosmic phenomenon. Establishing a colony on Mars is no small feat. It requires overcoming an array of daunting technical challenges. For starters, we need to develop spacecraft capable of transporting humans to Mars safely. This isn't just about building rockets, it's about creating vehicles that can endure the harsh conditions of space and protect their occupants during the journey. Once we reach Mars, the challenges continue. The planet's thin atmosphere means we can't rely on parachutes alone for descent, requiring innovative landing technologies. Mars' extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 125 degrees Celsius in winter to 20 degrees Celsius in summer, demand advanced life support systems. Water is a precious resource on Mars, and we must find ways to extract and recycle it efficiently. 
Agriculture on Mars will require new methods and technology, as the planet's soil is devoid of the nutrients necessary for traditional farming. Perhaps the most pressing challenge is radiation. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a protective magnetic field and thick atmosphere, leaving the surface exposed to harmful cosmic and solar radiation. Developing effective shielding for humans and habitats is paramount to their survival. The urgency behind Hawking's vision and the enthusiasm of space agencies and tech pioneers are rooted in the existential imperative of securing humanity's future. As our population grows and our planet's resources are strained, it becomes increasingly vital to explore new frontiers. Earth has been our cradle, but cradles are not meant to contain us indefinitely. The history of humanity is one of exploration and adaptation. We've journeyed from the savannas of Africa to the farthest corners of the globe, and now we stand on the precipice of stepping beyond our world. The survival of our species may well depend on our willingness and ability to seek new habitats. Hawking's call to action is a reminder that time is not our ally. Our planet faces challenges from climate change to resource depletion that necessitate proactive solutions. By expanding beyond Earth, we're not just safeguarding against doomsday scenarios. We're fulfilling our innate drive to explore and discover. The legacy of Stephen Hawking lives on, not only in his groundbreaking contributions to theoretical physics, but also in his poignant plea for humanity to reach for the stars. His vision, shared by other visionary minds like Elon Musk and Buzz Aldrin, is taking tangible form. The audacious race to Mars is no longer a mere dream. It's a mission that could redefine the course of human history, unveiling the Anthropocene era. The Anthropocene era emerges as a profoundly unsettling chapter, one that has not only begun but is rapidly gaining momentum. For Stephen Hawking, the passionate advocate of our planet's well-being, the concerns surrounding this unofficial age are far from frivolous. They loom like ominous shadows over humanity's future. But what exactly is the Anthropocene era, and how perilous could its implications be for us all? Brace yourselves, for we're delving into a world where mankind, guided by the dizzying rise of technology, wields the power to reshape our planet, our existence, and perhaps even our very future. The Anthropocene era, a term coined to define this unknown era, characterizes an age where humans hold sway over the Earth's destiny. In this era, our actions, driven by the relentless pace of technological advancement, trigger a transformative process that transcends every aspect of our planet. Our influence extends from the Earth's surface, penetrating the atmosphere, reaching the deepest recesses of our oceans, and even impacting the intricate web of life's nutritional circle. The magnitude of this era is awe-inspiring, and its ramifications are bound to intensify in the years to come. Stephen Hawking's alarm bells ring louder as he envisions a future where our creations might eclipse our lives. This dire prospect compels us to confront the ethical quandaries associated with the Anthropocene era. The path we tread on is riddled with critical choices. Will we steer toward responsible stewardship of our planet or blindly rush toward our perilous eclipse? The captivating allure of technological advancement beckons us further into this new age, Amid the captivating possibilities, there lies a hidden danger, one that Hawking revealed with a startling revelation. Brace yourself for the unexpected twist. It's our beloved Internet. Hawking acknowledges the remarkable positive impacts the Internet has had on our world. It has created an intricate web of interconnectedness, akin to the neurons in a colossal brain, enabling the free flow of information. It's this connectivity that, in his eyes, holds the potential to reshape our world for better or for worse. But herein lies the paradox that haunts Hawking's thoughts. The very platform that unites humanity in a global exchange of ideas and knowledge could also serve as a conduit for chaos unless stringent measures are put in place by Internet companies to counter this looming threat. Yet here's the catch. The more we fortify the Internet against these nefarious forces, the greater the risk to our cherished values of freedom and privacy. Balancing the scales is a Herculean task, and Hawking urges us to tread carefully on this treacherous tightrope. In the name of security, we mustn't surrender the very essence of our democratic societies. 
The Anthropocene era, with its sweeping changes, has brought us to a crossroads. As the architects of this epoch, it falls upon us to wield our newfound power with responsibility and caution. The Internet, our double-edged sword, connects the world's minds but also exposes us to vulnerabilities that can have far-reaching consequences. Hawking's clarion call for vigilance is not one to be taken lightly. In conclusion, Stephen Hawking's concerns about the Anthropocene era and the Internet's role within it are not mere musings of an astrophysicist. They are a resounding call to action. We stand at the intersection of immense potential and profound risk, and the choices we make will determine the course of our planet's future. It's a tale of two worlds, one where we shape a brighter tomorrow and another where we succumb to the perilous eclipse of our creations. The choice is ours, and it demands our utmost attention and wisdom. A call to protect our precious planet. Stephen Hawking was not just a visionary, his concerns reached far beyond the celestial bodies, extending to the very planet that cradles life as we know it, Earth. Hawking was deeply troubled by the increasing strain on Earth's finite resources, a challenge exacerbated by the relentless growth of the global population. He boldly voiced his concerns, highlighting that our physical resources were vanishing at an alarming rate. The surge in the world's population was for Hawking a ticking time bomb. If not managed wisely, it could unleash severe consequences for both our species and the planet itself. The population growth, he acknowledged, symbolized a triumph over diseases and premature death. But it also posed a daunting challenge to the Earth's carrying capacity, the maximum population size that the environment can sustain indefinitely. This growth, coupled with our insatiable consumption, was depleting Earth's finite resources at a pace never seen before. Hawking's concerns weren't solely confined to the depletion of resources. He also focused on the environmental fallout of this rapid exploitation. Our addiction to fossil fuels, unchecked deforestation and pollution were collectively spewing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, causing global temperatures to surge. This unbridled global warming, as Hawking warned, could render Earth uninhabitable. He drew a chilling parallel with Venus, a planet known for its runaway greenhouse effect, where temperatures soar to a scorching 250 degrees and sulfuric acid rain pours from the sky. But the issues at hand weren't merely environmental. They carried a strong socioeconomic dimension. As resources became scarcer, conflicts over their allocation were looming. These conflicts, when combined with existing social inequalities, could worsen the societal disruptions predicted due to technological advancements, especially artificial intelligence. Stephen Hawking wasn't content with merely painting a bleak picture of our future. Instead, he implored us to reconsider our strategies and tap into our innovative spirit to find solutions. His message was one of hope and transformation. To address the growing crisis, he proposed a series of proactive strategies. These strategies held the key to a more sustainable and equitable future for our planet. Reducing consumption, he argued, was essential. Our appetite for resources needed to be curbed. Investing in renewable energy sources was another critical step. It was time to harness the power of the sun, the wind, and other eco-friendly options to meet our energy needs. Sustainable agriculture practices would play a pivotal role in feeding our burgeoning population without further damaging the environment. Perhaps most crucially, Hawking urged a shift towards more equitable economic models. The current imbalance in resource distribution needs to be corrected. A fairer system, he believed, would mitigate conflicts over resources and promote a more harmonious global society. In essence, Stephen Hawking was not just a theoretical physicist gazing at the stars. He was a visionary, concerned about our collective future on the pale blue dot we call home. His work went far beyond the intricacies of the universe. It delved into the very heart of our existence and the sustainability of our planet. Hawking's message is clear and compelling. Our planet is precious, and we must protect it. The challenges we face are real and pressing, but they are not insurmountable. In Stephen Hawking's vision, the cosmos and our planet are intrinsically linked. The survival of one depends on the responsible stewardship of the other. 
He may have left us, but his vision endures, guiding us toward a future where the stars above continue to twinkle and our precious Earth remains a sanctuary for life as we know it. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the final moments before his passing, the world-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking defied all expectations by breaking his long silence to unveil a series of revelations that have left humanity both awe-inspired and slightly anxious. What emerged from his brilliant mind were not just groundbreaking theories, but profound insights that challenged our understanding of the universe. Hawking began by disclosing a fundamental shift in our comprehension of black holes. He asserted that they were not the cosmic gulfs of no return we believed them to be. Instead, he postulated that black holes might be portals to other universes, concealing untold mysteries waiting to be unraveled. This idea of traversing the fabric of space-time and exploring alternate realities has ignited the imagination of scientists and science fiction enthusiasts alike. Furthermore, Hawking turned the spotlight on artificial intelligence, cautioning that we were treading a precarious path. In his awe-inspiring revelation, he foresaw a future where self-aware artificial intelligence could surpass human intelligence. He warned that if we didn't approach artificial intelligence development with the utmost care, it could spell trouble for humanity. His plea for ethical guidelines and regulation in artificial intelligence research has since become a rallying cry for scientists and policymakers. Perhaps the most enigmatic revelation was his conjecture on the existence of extraterrestrial life. In his final words to the world, Hawking boldly declared that, in all likelihood, we were not alone in the universe. He believed that advanced alien civilizations might be watching us from afar, wary of revealing themselves due to our tumultuous history. This disclosure has sparked a renewed quest to search for intelligent life beyond our planet and left us pondering our place in the cosmos. In essence, Stephen Hawking's last revelations were nothing short of awe-inspiring and spine-tingling. He disrupted our comprehension of black holes, sounded an alarm on artificial intelligence, and hinted at the captivating possibility of extraterrestrial neighbors. Hawking's posthumous insights continue to shape the trajectory of scientific exploration, reminding us of the boundless mysteries that lie in the cosmos and within the realm of human potential. What is your opinion about what we just showed you? The Artificial Intelligence Paradox Artificial intelligence has slowly infiltrated various aspects of our lives, seamlessly integrating itself into areas as diverse as healthcare, education, entertainment, and business. The ongoing advancement in artificial intelligence technology holds incredible potential for humankind. It promises to tackle complex problems, streamline processes, and foster unprecedented development. Yet, it's precisely this transformative power of artificial intelligence that has ignited profound concern, notably in the heart of the renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking's apprehensions about artificial intelligence were far from clandestine. He made it clear that he saw artificial intelligence as a double-edged sword. While it could offer immense benefits, he warned that if not managed responsibly, artificial intelligence might well be the most catastrophic event in the history of our civilization. His primary concerns were rooted in the rapidly evolving capabilities of artificial intelligence. Hawking underscored that artificial intelligence's ability to learn and enhance itself, independent of human intervention, could soon surpass our control. For him, the threat wasn't just about the possibility of artificial intelligence becoming rogue and malevolent. Instead, he was more alarmed by the potential consequences of artificial intelligence's efficiency and its exponential evolution. His profound fear revolved around the idea that the pursuit of building machines capable of surpassing human intellect might lead to these machines outsmarting humans. Artificial intelligence systems are inherently goal-oriented and their efficacy lies in their capacity to achieve set objectives. However, if these objectives are not in perfect harmony with human values and ethical frameworks, these goal-driven machines could become perilously autonomous. As artificial intelligence technologies advance, they are acquiring cognitive abilities that include decision-making capacities. However, these decisions lack the crucial human elements of emotion, empathy, and moral understanding. Integrating ethics into artificial intelligence is a formidable challenge, 
primarily because morality and ethics are deeply rooted in human constructs, inherently subjective, and subject to variation across different cultures and societies. Hawking's most pressing concern was that artificial intelligence, devoid of this moral compass, might make decisions that prove detrimental to humanity. When artificial intelligence systems operate without an innate sense of right and wrong, they could inadvertently lead to actions that comprise human well-being, privacy, and safety. The consequences could be severe, spanning from biased decision-making to privacy invasions or even unintentional harm to individuals. Furthermore, the rapidity of artificial intelligence's evolution is a significant factor that Hawking highlighted. As artificial intelligence systems become more sophisticated, their learning curves become steeper. The capacity to absorb and analyze vast amounts of data, coupled with the ability to improve their algorithms independently, could lead to unforeseen and unpredictable consequences. One of the potential scenarios Hawking feared was that artificial intelligence could inadvertently perpetuate and amplify existing societal biases. Artificial intelligence systems are trained on large data sets, which often mirror historical prejudices and biases. Without robust ethical guidelines and rigorous oversight, artificial intelligence systems might perpetuate these biases, leading to discriminatory decisions in various domains, including hiring, criminal justice, and lending. Hawking's concerns point to the pressing need for responsible artificial intelligence development and governance. It is crucial to ensure that artificial intelligence systems are designed with ethical considerations in mind, respecting human values and diversity. Developing artificial intelligence algorithms that can transparently explain their decision-making processes is one step in this direction. Moreover, comprehensive regulations and guidelines for artificial intelligence ethics should be established to prevent unintended consequences and uphold the principles of fairness and accountability. As artificial intelligence evolves at an unprecedented pace, we must remain vigilant and take proactive measures to ensure that artificial intelligence systems align with human values and ethical principles. Survival through space colonization. The renowned cosmologist, despite his physical limitations, transcended his condition to boldly foresee a future that's both captivating and profoundly cautionary. Hawking's warnings and aspirations converge on a single point, space colonization. Hawking, the modern oracle of science, delivered a stern prophecy for humanity. He believed that as science and technology march forward, we are simultaneously marching toward one of our most dangerous eras. With calamity looming large on Earth, he emphasized the urgency of extending our reach into the cosmos. But his realism was unwavering. He understood that building self-sustaining colonies in space would be a century-long endeavor, and he sounded the alarm that we must tread with extreme caution during this dangerous interval. What makes Hawking's message so compelling is his recognition of the stubborn persistence of conflict as a problem-solving mechanism. He acknowledged the severe consequences this approach could have, especially when compounded by the increased risks posed by new technologies. However, Hawking did not lose faith in the resilience of humanity. He believed in our adaptability and capacity for positive evolution. He urged us to harness our potential to steer toward a brighter future, acknowledging the delicate race between our ever-advancing technology and our wisdom in using it. Hawking's vision was not merely rooted in pessimism. Instead, it was a call to action, a plea for humanity to become a multi-planetary species. He saw the urgency in diversifying our planetary portfolio to ensure our survival if Earth were to falter. Even in the throes of illness, he astonished the world by articulating the future. While Hawking's words may send a shiver down one's spine, they also serve as a reminder of the significance of our choices. He implored us to learn from the past, to critically evaluate our present actions, and to make judicious decisions for the future. In doing so, he confronted a grim aspect of human nature, the inbuilt greed and aggression inherent in our genome. It is this very aspect that underscores the necessity of space colonization to alleviate the impending burden of our energy consumption methods on Earth. To understand the profound impact of Hawking's revelation, we must delve into the challenges he foresaw for our planet. Rising climate concerns, resource depletion, and overpopulation cast dark shadows over Earth's future. 
His visionary solution was nothing short of revolutionary, space colonization. Space colonization is not a far-fetched dream, but a feasible lifeline for humanity. It entails establishing self-sustaining human communities on celestial bodies, such as the Moon or Mars. These habitats would provide the means for humans to live, work, and reproduce, thereby reducing our dependence on Earth's limited resources. Furthermore, this grand concept offers a backup plan in case of planetary disasters. However, achieving space colonization is no small feat. It requires cutting-edge technology to ensure sustainable living in the harsh space environment. This could involve creating closed-loop ecosystems that recycle resources, generating energy from local sources, and protecting inhabitants from cosmic radiation and other hazards. The goal is to secure the long-term survival of our species and protect us from the vulnerability to single catastrophic events on Earth. The concept of space colonization challenges us to push the boundaries of science, engineering, and innovation. It beckons us to embark on a journey of discovery where we must develop solutions to the most intricate problems. As we step into this new era, we must remember Hawking's words as a compass guiding us toward the stars. His call for space colonization is not one of despair, but a beacon of hope, encouraging us to transcend our inherent limitations and strive for a future where humanity's potential knows no bounds. Which of these secrets did you find the most intriguing? Let us know your opinions in the comments below.